we knew the schools when they were, they were the identity of the parish. You know, the parish didn't identify, or the, the school didn't identify with the parish, the parish identified with the school. The kids who went there and grew up in the families of sent their kids identified with incarnation because they were connected with the school. And, uh, and Annunciation and Resurrection and uh, Holy Name and all of them, that was true. But the pastoral arm of the parish was, was the women's club who was there to support parish programming and that kind of thing and they raised money and they provided a, a community for the women and the women of course stayed home and, and raised kids. And so it was a group that met during the day when the kids were in school and, and all of that. And when women started going off to, to work, the women's club started diminishing. And now they, they're in some parishes, but they're very small and very not, not influential. Well, the men's side of that was the Holy Name Society. And the Holy Name Society did youth programs and athletic programs and fundraising and, uh, and dinners. They, they had smokers, women had, the women's club had style shows and then the men had poker parties and smokers and fundraising kind of stuff. Um, it, was, it was building community, but it was building it segregated because that's the way the world operated then. Um, and it was, they were the two strong arms. The, if a pastor had a staff, he had a president of the Holy Name Society and a president of the Women's Club and his associates, and that was the staff. Uh, and, and they were the key people. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were strong. Um, they used to, the Holy Name Society used to be in every parish. And there would be a Holy Name rally every summer at the state fairgrounds. And people would come by the thousands. And half of them would be in the stands, but the other half, would be marching in a procession around the fairgrounds and they had big banners with their parish name, the Holy Name Society, the Incarnation, or whatever. And I'm sure somebody digs around here and in storerooms, they're gonna find the old Holy Name Society banner somewhere. And that was just a great honor to be part of that and be able to walk in that parade. So when they decided they'd have junior members, I was there walking in that parade in the hot sun thinking that was just the cat's pajamas. And, uh, and, and they raised a lot of money. They were, they were the financial arm of the parish, and them and the women. And so the, the Holy Name Society would have been the people that could raise the money and, and pay for something like that. She had a big scale, and you had to weigh everything that brought, was brought in, and you got a receipt from her for the scale amount, and then each classroom had to have a certain number of pounds, and if you, each student had brought in enough pounds, 100 pounds or whatever it would be, and then they'd have a movie for those students. They would have, they'd get out of class and go to a movie in the auditorium. And it was a great big promotion in the school. But, but what brought about paper sales was the war, I think. I don't know that they had them before the, the war effort, and then we were saving everything, scrap metal drives and stuff. I think the, the Holy Name Society probably did a scrap metal drive here too, once a year. You get people's old pipes and water, hot water heaters that didn't work anymore and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and, but I think they were fundraising for us, for the, for the benefit of where we had the fundraiser. But the things they were collecting were things that could then be recycled to be used again. And, and in the war effort, any resource that you could recycle was just great. Uh, I'm sure the planes built in the 44 didn't have any new metal in them. <laughs>